before we run again let's tidy up our breakpoints because the first breakpoint we had was after the first part of the loop so we really want somewhere around about here to be our breakpoint because this looks like the initialization of the registers because it's clearing EAX, clearing EBX and assigning some values to EDX and ECX so this looks like the, the setting up of the, the state ready to run the algorithm so we'll put left to that for a breakpoint um, and the other breakpoints we'll delete because we're not interested in those now and we'll run the code again so we're back in the unregistered mode here and we get to the breakpoint at the start of the the hash generation code so whilst we're looking at this we'll uh, pull up a code editor and make ourselves the C program to do the uh, hash and key generation as well. So we're going to have some kind of function called get hash one. Remember there are two hashes, one for each part of the serial code and it will uh, take your name as a string. So if we step through to the start of the loop, we know the loop finishes when each character of the name string has been processed but this add 3 to ECX at the start means that the first three characters of the name always get skipped so let's code that now so we've got our temp string variable three characters in and something like that will iterate through the, the string loop and break out when we reach the end we also need a variable to hold our hash value that we return. So that's our skeleton function. So now we need to examine what exactly happens in this loop. So first, a character from ECX, which is the string. A character from the string is zero extended, which is basically an unsigned upcast. So in code form, that would be something like upcast the current character to an unsigned int and then it's multiplied by these values here or this value I should say which is some fixed base that's a hard-coded address plus whatever's in EAX as a 4 byte offset uh, EAX started as 0 and gets incremented down here so EAX looks like it's been used as an index into some fixed array of data that's used during the hashing. So we'll we'll look what this array contains shortly, but let's just examine how EAX gets used. It gets incremented after it's used and then compared with 26 hex, uh, a jump of less than or equal. So if it's greater than 26, it gets set back to zero again. So let's co let's code that part now. So we need our index variable and temp is going to be multiplied by some array of data somewhere we'll look at that in a minute and then increment i and once it gets past uh, it gets set back to zero again so that's that taken care of And then EBX is accumulating the multiplication result and is used as ultimately the hash value. So we just need to put that in as well. So that will be here. Hash plus equals temp. And hash gets returned down here. So the only thing that's missing now from our first algorithm is this array of data. So let's go back to Ollie and examine where that is. We can click on 
this address here and then choose follow in dump address constant and that will take us to the data down here. We need to copy this data and the amount we need to copy, well we know EAX gets reset to zero after 26 hex so we need everything from this address in the next 26 bytes although because EAX has been multiplied by 4 it's effectively indexing the array as if it was an array of uh, longs so we need 26 hex times 4 from here so if we bring up calculator again um, our starting address is 55C42C and we add to that 26 times 4 so we need up to but not including 55C4C4 we actually need in up to and including 26 because we only reset when, 20, when we're greater than 26 so it was C4 C4 so we can highlight this down here C4 C4 is there not one too many and we can control C that and go to our code and paste in. Now there's a lot of stuff we need to tidy up from here. Um, we don't need all these zeros um, for each of our values so we can get rid of those. Similarly we don't need these zeros and we don't need the addresses. need to, because we're, we're in C now, we need to prefix with 0x because we're in hex. And we also need 2 comma separate them. Oops, I didn't see those up there. Alright, we'll quickly do those as well then. So now we have our array of data. We just need to declare it. So that's our first algorithm. Yeah, we have everything there. We have our array now. So. Let's make a quick C program, or rather a main function to test that. Um, we won't do any validation at the moment on the arguments, so we'll just take the the name from the first argument entered and uh, oops. save that now and we can compile and run. Um, I'm using the Sigwin GCC compiler um, there's, there's plenty to choose from out there. I, I like Sigwin because I work in Linux quite a lot but we're on Windows for now. So compile it as... what did I name it again? Merck Keygen. Right. compiling away now. It's a little slow. Um, and then we can run it with give me a milk. 
8069, that's what we got for our first part for Gimme Your Milk.